We are going to an old decrepit fish station in Miger, Oregon. No. No. It's a full moon. You're kidding. No, it's a full moon. <laughs> no. Is that not full? That is a full moon. Oh. No, this is not good. Dude, I literally have the chills like crazy right this now. This is not good. Reports say he struggled trying to get out and swim up. By the time his workers came back from the lunch break, he was confirmed. He couldn't float anywhere because this net is still attached to the building. Investigators are trying to figure out what caused a fisherman to drown. We're told he went in after a fishing net and seconds later he was screaming for help. Well, fishermen who saw what happened say their life is worth more than a fishing net. Police departments died team was the first to respond and they pulled the man from the water from the time when i seen them rescue him he was under the water for 45 minutes i heard that what it's brand new it's gone it just went all the way to orange it just went to yellow Where's Nick? Bro, you excited for this new series? Oh, I'm. What? Paw Patrol? Paw Patrol? For the boys? <laughs> Pop Patrol is my favorite, guys. So if you ever want to send me anything in the mail later down the road. No, not going to send us Paw Patrol macaroni. Any type of macaroni that has to do with Door the Explorer, cars, Paw Patrol, unicorns is my favorite, but they don't sell them anywhere that I can find it. By the time this is out, we're 25, guys. Yeah, we're still eating freaking Paw Patrol macaroni. What of it? What they think they saw. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we are super excited to bring you a brand new series. After we eat this Paw Patrol, of course, then well, obviously we're going to get into the series, you know? Before we do any ghost hunting, first things first, we have to eat our Paw Patrol. And obviously have a cup of coffee, but we've already had our cup of coffee. And Nick, by the way, I don't drink those white girl coffee drinks anymore, you know? After that series, guys, with the bunker, it made me realize if you're trying to be a man and an adult, you got to drink normal coffee, apparently, because Nick will give you shit. Yeah, Bring your basic coffee. We have homemade, real, old-fashioned style, mother's made in the kitchen with an apron on style coffee. You? You had to walk down to the corner store to get something <laughs> like that. So What'd you pay? Three bucks? What'd I pay? <laughs> Three and a hug! As soon as I'm done with my Paw Patrol, then come talk to me. <laughs> Some of you guys don't know about us. We actually made, when we were younger, a macaroni commercial. I can actually pop that up for you guys. I found them, but I killed Dad. Dad, do I have macaronis? And Dad said no. And I found the box. We all like macaroni. Yep, so we can get strong. They have them in a secret dress. And she picks it in a bowl, a big bowl, and she picks some of the water out, the water out, all of the water out. Then she picks some seeds on, and then she picks it in the pot. Pretty amazing, right? We were already stars when macaroni came out. And never made it to the macaroni. Company. Nope. Just so happens our uh, next door neighbor, she entered also, and she's the one who won. Fuck you, Sally. We were the stars. Welcome to a brand new series, guys. We are super excited. Unfortunately, Nick is not going to be here, River Wad. Rest in peace, brother. I love you forever. We're not friends anymore with him. Yeah. We don't like him. No. And it's crib. And it. In we a, don't like him! In a baby crib! We, this is what we do to him. Ah! Sorry, are you okay? Yeah, okay. you knocked my baby off my head. Dude, I gotta wash my hands. Go Dude. wash your hands! So while River is washing his hands, the reason why Nick is not here, because of the coronavirus, obviously, I guess you could come back in. Are you gonna be good? Hands are clean. You gonna be a good boy? Yeah, swear. <laughs> not again. Why are you doing that? Anyways, guys, so we found a beautiful location. This location is a giant fish slash fish net factory. Honestly, it looked like an abandoned house to me. And so I really wanted to know like any type of history, if there was any history about this place. It just so happens that some of the locals do know some of the history about this place involving two deaths. It's time to learn some history. We are 
we're going to an old, abandoned, decrepit fish station in Miger, Oregon. So it was originally the site of Frenchman Charles Miger's Miger Logging Company. So basically that whole location was like for a logging company until they decided to sell a property in 1886 to William F. Slaughter. So the guy's name is William F. Slaughter who owns the, the that building. That just sounds it's, crazy. It sounds, it sounds intense. That actually, that's, that's who used to own it. That's actually such a sick last name. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Anyway, so we decided to both split this research in half since we are twins, you know, obviously you gotta kind of make it a little interesting. And so since there are two deaths, we decided, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and split this in half. I'm gonna learn about one death and River's going to learn about the other death. And it just so happens that River's death that he had uh, found in through the history is going to be the first death. Yeah, that so. happened. So the first death was in the late 1800s, it was actually 1890. And I'm just gonna sum it up and then I'll read to you like what this woman actually sent us. So basically, they had a crew, this crew would get together the fish, they'd throw out the nets, bring in the nets, and you know, same thing every day so that they can get the fish ready to sell. Well, there was a guy, he stayed behind during a lunch, these people went out to lunch, he got caught up in a net and he drowned. But let me tell you exactly what this woman sent us because this is what she says. So this death was accidental. Right, so. well, and then again, we don't know about the other one either. Well, so starting with this one, this is actually what she sent us. The locals are saying that one of the workers had decided to stay behind as the rest of the workers went off to go and get some lunch. They were gonna bring him back lunch as well, um, so they say. He had decided he was going to pull in some of the fishing nets so that they can get a jump on the day and they can put, you know, more out once they came back for lunch. As the man was pulling in some of the fish nets, he had grabbed one of the fish nets and tripped over another one that he had already pulled up. Yeah, it was laying so, on the ground. Yeah, I, I, I don't know why uh, he brought one in and well, set think, it in the way because... This. So what the woman was saying, she had also brought up the fact that when you go and pull in these fish nets and stuff, so these fish nets, they're throwing out of the building because they're doing this all from the side of the building. Like they're, sure. The whole building is over the river, so it's over water. And so what they do is they have a giant opening and they throw the nets out and you know they obviously wait for the fish to gather and, and get caught in it mm -hmm. and then they pull in the nets usually there's about one to two to three people who exactly. pull it in it just so happens that everybody trusted this guy because he usually does pull them in by himself so he tripped over the fish net causing him to stumble forward off the deck into one of the nets that had been floating around in the water so right through the opening off the deck into a, one of the other nets that he was about to pull in and doing so like you land into a net water's rushing down and the Columbia River goes pretty quick, so yeah. it's dangerous. He got caught and he started moving more and more and more and just he couldn't like get out. Just struggling trying yeah. to get out. Yeah. Literally, it's like it's like when you see a bug get caught into a spider web. By the time his workers came back from the lunch break, he was confirmed dead. Investigators are trying to figure out what caused a fisherman to drown. We're told he went in after a fishing net and seconds later he was screaming for help. Well, fishermen who saw what happened say their life is worth more than a fishing net. Police department's dive team was the first to respond and they pulled the man from the water. So you got the workers coming in looking for John Doe's like, where, yo, where is he? What the heck just happened? Like, you know, it looks like some work has been done. And, they, and then they've gone for maybe an hour. Yeah, it just doesn't seem right. One of the nets was just all tangled up and everything. And mangled and whatever. They pull him up and they find him dead. He couldn't float anywhere because this net is still attached to the building. It's a loose situation, man. Like, it's definitely an accidental death and it's very unfortunate, but it's kind of an amazing story in all honesty. Anyways, my part of the history, the second death that had happened. So this place closed in 1961. So what had happened was a giant chunk of this building had collapsed into the river and they decided, well, you know, we can't even deal with this right now. We're gonna have to fix this. So we just gotta close down until we do decide to fix it. Just so happens that this fix was, it was too much to fix. Ten years later, after this place had closed down, a couple of local fishermen who fish over off the shoreline by the train tracks in this general area. So these two young guys were fishing in the Columbia River. They were fishing during low tide. Well, one of their lines had gotten caught and usually you can kind of pull or even break your line and just, you know, 
whatever go on about your day and, and fish. Sometimes what they'll do is they'll go and you know walk along the line, go and find what they're caught on. Usually it's like a branch or something because branches always float down the Columbia River. One of their lines was caught on this metal corner. They wanted to know what it was so they started pulling it in. Turned out it was a industrial freezer. Not like one of those giant giant industrial freezers. It was more of like the trunk kind of freezers. The ones that have that lid that you like you know you can open and put your stuff in and close. What's crazy is that the building that had collapsed they had those freezers and they'd load all their fish in there because you can't just go and sell all your fish at once. You got to freeze your fish and then you have people who want to buy fish so you go and get your fish out of the freezer and you go and sell your fish. So these guys had brought the freezer as much to shore as they could. Apparently it was still like a little bit submerged underwater but they had decided to open it and what do you think they found? They found a body. Well, another twist in a death investigation out of a man found dead in a freezer. Detectives can confirm the man's identity and cause of death. They won't be speculating about what happened to him. This revelation has the neighborhood talking, reacting to the latest news that the man whose body was found in a freezer. A deep freezer, or chest freezer that's, you know, roughly three feet wide, four feet wide, opens it up and there's an unidentified male deceased inside. So the guys had, had went and called the police and the police had come. They were super confused because this body has been there for at least 10 to 11 years. Once they found the body, the body, and once a uh, body is submerged underwater for so long, you know how when you're like in a bath or you're in a pool and your fingers get super pruney like a little pickle and stuff. When you're in the water for so long, your body actually starts to like become fill like up. a, yeah, fill up with like water, become like a, like a bubble. So basically by the autopsy and what they were saying is this guy was a 45 year old man who was found dead early Thursday in an industrial freezer located in the Columbia River about 100 165 feet away from the fish industry. They had found out that this freezer actually belonged to the fish company and right where these freezers had sat was where the building had collapsed. Then they had found out that this freezer and this guy actually came from this building. Just letting you guys know that this is the kind of history, like we don't know everything, this is just what we have found. So if you guys do know anything more, go down in the comments and let us know more. But as what we know, this guy's name is David Traub. Okay, the weirdest thing, this guy was in a freezer, right? This freezer fell. Think about this, Riff. They are saying there was no foul play. I was just gonna ask you, like. So, okay, that's bullshit. So how is a man just gonna go and hop in a freezer and just go ahead and just sit in there until he dies? It's hard to believe. You know for a fact that somebody put this guy in the freezer and tried to hide him and it just so happens, oh, you're a lucky guy because this part of the building decided to collapse. What if this guy set up the whole fucking thing? This is what I like to do, guys. This is what we like to do if we get to find out any new information from a spirit that just decides to say, hey, you know, I want you to know about my death. I'm not ready to, you know, move on until somebody finds out that this was a murder or this was an accidental death. Like, this is where we come in. You ready? I'm ready. I'm super ready for this place. Let's go. Let's go. Moving up the ladder, no shortcuts. Everybody want a PJ or a tour bus, but I'm too busy working on my next drop. Trying to be an icon like I'm on a desktop. I feel like a king, but I work like a sweatshop. Ain't nobody doing what I'm doing because I'm next up. Driven by all the anxiety, everyone trying me. I got no time to just rest up. And I've been moving up finally. Everyone been trying to find me. They looking for secrets. Nobody sees the work that I'm doing so quietly. Oh my god. Oh, there god. it is! Should I park in there, right? Or right here is fine? No, I think right here. I just, I want to definitely check it out. Sun's starting to go down. So Alright, maybe definitely... check it and then come back and then new drone shots? River, this is insane. Weird. It came from right there. You think the train's coming? Is the car too close? I don't know. No way. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Did you not hear that? I did. Our car's not too close. We're good. No. What the? What was that? That was weird. Let's just get in the building. That was literally like an unexplained sound. Like as soon as we passed here, it sounded like a whistle, kind of. Sketchy? Whoa! Sketchiest dock in the world. Look at the whole dock sideways. Oh my god, Whoa. I just stepped Not really right here. Sketchy. Don't step right here, look. Yeah, this is sketch, Riv. That's pretty far down, dude. 
I'm trying to slowly make my way there, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, just to even get to this place right now is so oh, fuck Riv. Oh, I wonder if we can take another board and just like make a walkway. Look at how eaten up that is. Alright, I'm gonna turn this off and make my way. Oh my god, dude. This is creepy, bro. Look at all this stuff. And we're doing this here tonight. Oh my god. Oh, Riv! What? Look what I see. What? This is what would pull in. You see that? Dolly? That wheel? This has to be what pulls in. To be a deck. This is where the whole collapse was. Look, this has got to be it. This is it, definitely. This is where the freezer was. The whole section had collapsed and the freezer went down that way. I'm assuming that's where the fishermen were, were like down at the end, right over that there. Look, like look at all the nets that are just floating there. Yeah, there's so many nets. Like if you fell down here, dude, this is dead, bro. Oh, yeah, and there's an upstairs. I just want to check it out. Oh my god, Riv. You go. No, you go. No, you go. You really want me to go? Yeah. Hello? Don't ask if somebody's here. Well, you point the camera up there and you see. I don't see anybody. Whoa. Did you hear that? She sounds like somebody's walking up here. No, I swear. Did you hear the thump? It was like... No, do you hear it? I don't know, man. This is sketch. That was like a pretty decent thump, dude. Swaying. That's the only thing that's swaying in here. Yuck. Not even like any of the rope hanging down. Oh god. This floor looks sketchy. <gasps> dude, what? dude, do you see the news? <laughs> do you see the news? Oh my no god. Way. I almost just fell in this hole, Riv. Did you really? I literally was like about to just start walking forward. And there's holes everywhere. Yo. Oh my god. Look at this. What? What is that? All-seeing eye. What is a? <laughs> How come everywhere we go, there's something like this? That's not a news, is it? This is a sketch. Could you imagine what's gonna happen tonight? No, I don't want to imagine it, and I'm hoping that it's a good night. But what's more scary is like once it's high tide, this place could collapse, and I don't want it to. Why is this here? Dude, can you look at something? This. Got oh my God, dude. Now I know exactly how it happened. You just got caught? I literally just walked, my foot got caught in here, and I started dragging the thing, and I tripped a little bit. Oh, this net's like cut. Like somebody got caught in it? Got caught in it, and they had to cut it out. Or cut themselves out. Look at how many nets are here, dude. This is insane. They're everywhere. Jesus. But back to what I was saying. You did too! I swear. You did too! That makes so much sense, I, dude. I literally just and then fell walked off. right over. I thought I just cleared it. Dude. Anyways, what? So, this news got thrown over there, but from there it kind of looks like it hung over that more. Oh, dude. Is this a news? <laughs> looks like a news, right? Um, that's it's a news. It's a news. The tighter you go, it closes down on your... That's a news. You're Look. fucking kidding, dude. That's not cool. Yeah, I like... I have this really heavy feeling. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, no, I definitely you? have that same, same feeling. It's definitely a sketchy area, and I'm pretty scared. Man, this is gonna be a scary night, guys. Crazy, guys. Not how like the waves are. Are you downstairs? Right there, right there, right there! Oh my god!